one so in this video we are going to learn about how to create the custom columns which is very very simple and uh, this is nothing but just like adding a new column previously in the previous videos or initial videos we have done that for uh, creating a calculated column it's pretty much similar to that right there are a little bit of differences which we may cover in the uh, during the video and if i don't cover let me know into the comment section i'll reply to your comments okay so now to start with i'll simply import the data and uh, here is a test data set which i have created to cover this exercise and uh, as soon as it appears over here i'm going to select this sheet and directly going to jump to the power b power query not power bi power bi is something i'm already in right so just select the data and instead of load i'm going to say transform data this will directly take me to the power bi or power query tell me answer that into the comment section yes you are right that is power query right so we are going to be over here in the power query directly now the next thing how we can use the custom column for example you see over here the customer id has been given so id ids are usually of same length just in case if you need to do the data quality check right you may like to check the length of this so how can you do that so for that you can add create a custom column for that go on add column and this custom column okay click on that custom column this is what you are going to get over here just say you can name the new column which you want to have over here right so i'm going to say check length then over here you need to put the formula so the formula is length you just start typing all right and you see over here this says text dot length just select that and open the parenthesis operator now you need to choose the column for which you want to check the length this one then close it and here it says no syntax error have been detected just say okay that's a good news all right so now you see over here it gives me 11 now quickly go into the filter and see it's always 11 which means our this id is perfect as per the conformity i mean format confirmation check all right next thing let me give you another example for example here you have the date right i remember previously also i have shown this thing to you uh i previously also i have shown you how you can do that using the extract again i'm going to show you that for example this is a date column if you want to extract year month or etc then again you can just go ahead and click on custom columns here you say just say what is the name of that column bill month so i'm going to say bill year bill year all right and over here all right all that you need to do is just say year and uh, over here the choose the last one year and out of this you need to choose the date all right date column just close this say okay here we got the year similarly if you want you can do that for month and data as well right i'm not going to cover that next example which i'm going to take is let's say if i here is the first name given here's the last name given what if i want to show the full name how can i do that again go on and click uh, go ahead and click on custom column and let's just put the text let's just name this say full name and over here i'm going to i don't need to do much just select first name and the way we do it in excel we use ampersand to concatenate this same way choose this right so what next gonna happen is you see you say okay now you see over here first name and last name is concatenated but this is not making much sense because there's no space in between to you know identify that okay so i just need to make edit into this so for that what you can do is this is the last one which we have done add it just go in this setting and over here it just opens it up in the double code just put one space and at the end again you would require to put a number and percent say okay and now here here's what you needed okay so this is how you can create the custom column by combining the things right so there are other purposes also the one thing which you cannot do over here is you cannot concatenate numeric and the alphabetic column let's try doing that bill amount uh, I'm going to say experiment. <laughs> okay, and over here I'm going to say bill amount 
and let's me let me try to concatenate first name with this oops is it going to work let's just see what's what's gonna happen so you see it gave me the error while this is something is quite possible in calculating while creating the calculated column right so i'm just going to remove this this is the this is what we wanted to cover into this right we created some custom column which is bill year check length and full name i'm going to say save uh, close and apply or simply and we are going to see the data over here let's just give it a moment i wish i could add that clip clip few moments later because i can't add it so i'm saying it myself just bear with it god it's too slow it's taking it has already taken 10 seconds and i'm not sure you can more than that okay so it will just show me the data right over here i'm just waiting for it it came okay now let me just try to concatenate using uh you know calculated column right so what i'll do is i'll just click on this and say new column all right let's just see over here i'm going to say testing and over here i'm going to say bill amount bill amount and over here next thing is first name is that going to work let's just commit it and let me take you to the data view whoa you see it worked right so this is the difference in creating a calculated column and creating versus creating a custom column right and there could be some other also if you have if you if you already know there are other differences do let me know into the comment section that that will help me to learn and let me know if you found this video useful give a thumbs up share it with your friend if you have any feedback drop that into the comment section that will be useful for me thank you very much for watching this wish you very very good